Hello everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today in front of us we have the two Mortison units for the OCR Bone Reapers, at least their clamshell packs. We've got the Mortison Soul Reaper and the Mortison Bone Shaper. So each of these models is just one sprue. They're both on 32 millimeter bases, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at them because they don't look like they're going to be too complicated of builds. So here are our two sprues in a little bit closer detail. Let's focus on the Mortis and Soul Reaper first. Uh, he only consists of seven parts actually, which isn't too bad. Basically you have the main body right here. You can see his legs have actually been fully sculpted. You have the front of his cloak which attaches, and then you have his arms outreached behind him. This goes on the front with the blade of the scythe then attaching to both the arms. You have his little detail for his cloak and then finally the head pretty simple construction i do worry about the strength and fragility of both the blade with the spirit coming out of his little flask and then these little doodads he's got hanging off of his belt there but otherwise i don't think he's going to be too much of a problem to actually build then we have our bone shaper. Our bone shaper is a little bit more complex with only 10 parts. Again, not that big a deal. I think the biggest thing is going to be his little individual, I don't know what this is. It's like a, not like a neck vertebrae thing. I know it attaches to the back of his cloak there. He himself isn't too bad. It looks like his skull base is all one big bit. You have his other leg right here, one of the hands, the other hand, and then you have, I believe, I don't know, I <laughs> have to figure that out. Ah, so you have the energy thing here that is holding up the remains of this Necron warrior. I mean, Mortec guard. At least I'm assuming it's Mortec. It's missing some of the armor bits, but that's okay. Anyway, we're going to get these guys built. We'll take a look at how they are when they're finished and compare them to some of the other models we've got laying around. All right, our Soul Reaper and our Bone Shaper here are all done for the most part. For the most part, I say that because as always, I don't really bother ever attaching anything to the base, our Bone Shaper friend in particular. So a couple things I wanna point out on both of them after having had a chance to actually build these guys, if I can get him actually in focus. Uh, this weird energy tendril thing he's got going on actually connects to his base. There's a little slot for it, which I couldn't figure out at first. And I did have a little bit of trouble trying to figure out how to get his spine attachment thing from his armor to the back of his head. It just didn't really want to cooperate. And I think part of it was I just didn't position his head correctly as well. Um, the contact points for the arms were kind of funky. Just It sits in there, and it didn't really like lock into place, if that makes sense. They just kind of sat there. I ended up gluing on the floaty debris guy prior to actually attaching the arms, which is not what the direction suggested, but it worked out a little bit better, and I was able to figure out where that spinal piece went. Main reason I didn't really attach him to the base yet is I'm going to need to get in there underneath the legs in his skirt armor to paint everything and it's just kind of a little bit easier if he's not attached to the base the soul reaper on the other hand i went ahead and attached him didn't seem like it's going to make a huge difference there's enough wiggle room in terms of how he's attached to the base and you can see here where his bones are showing and it's pretty easy to get at them in the back as well he seems a lot bigger than the regular more tech basic guy even if they're just next to each other i feel like he's a little bit taller um this more tech isn't finished completely i haven't done any highlights on him but he was uh, enough done that you could at least see the difference in size putting him with both models there you get a good indication of what to expect in terms of scale so yeah these guys were priced a little higher than the average model but then again they are characters you can run multiples of them and when you have all the more tech stuff running in conjunction uh, more tech mortism uh, they have all kinds of funky abilities as well especially if they've got like the harvester on the table with them which why wouldn't you want to do that they're just going to be you know reaping and sowing and rebuilding everything as they go grabbing a couple other models just to get a good sense of size what to expect here we have our lord exorcist and our Lord Witch Hunter friend. 
So you can see our Mortisons are going to be putting out a little bit more of an impressive battle, grabbing a good old plain generic chain rasp from the night hunts. You can see again, I don't know, his swirling energy. I didn't even talk about how to build him. Silly me. Let me get back to that real fast then. Out of here. <clears throat> so building the Soul Reaper, the only real complication was making sure that everything lined up correctly the arms and once they had the scythe blade attached the arms and everything just kind of you know if you're playing around with plastic model glue or plastic cement it was pretty easy to just kind of smush everything together he was another one i just couldn't figure out how his head was supposed supposed to attach but i figured we got it good enough and he seems like he's doing okay otherwise i was really worried at first about how Thin he is on his base and how little contact points he was after building Lady Alinder and nearly breaking her a billion times. This is actually one solid piece. There's no real attachment point. It's all together as one part there, so that was nice. Let's see, any other models we have laying around? I thought for some reason to me he reminds me of like a Mortech, not a Mortech, a Cryptech or something along those lines. So if you wanted to have him as a Necron of some sort. Now, I don't know why, but that's just what it reminded me of. Getting a couple other models in there for scale. So if you are in the mood for a visually dynamic looking Grim Reaper type made out of artificial bones, I think you can't go wrong with the Soul Reaper. Bone Shaper, I keep looking at him, I keep thinking Necron, especially the way his naked Mortec friend here is getting rebuilt. I don't know why, it just reminds me of a Necron. But they are cool models, and I'm glad we've got them, and hopefully you will see them back here on this channel soon with some paint slapped all over them. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberly with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.